All right, we're back again. Uh, we're on the march with Occupy San Francisco. We're at Market Street. We're nearing Powell. Uh, we got a pretty good police escort, but everybody looks pretty relaxed today. Uh, we haven't seen any black rock people out, so that's a good sign. Uh, even though uh, last night I didn't believe that the black rock people were from Occupy, I believe that they were provocateurs, either hired by somebody or part of the police department. We don't know yet, but at this rate, we're uh, very suspicious. Anyway, we're here we're marching down to Van Essen Market to uh, meet up to reestablish the SF commune, although I'm wondering how we're going to do it with all this police presence here. Uh, my name is Clark Sullivan. Uh, you can tweet me, at Freeman Sullivan. Uh, if you want to leave a chat, if you want to chat or come and talk to me, uh, if you're looking at the stream on our homepage, uh, you have to go to Ustream tv slash channel slash occupy san francisco and that way you'll be able to log on to the social stream and chat if you have any questions or if you want to know what's going on i'll do my best best to answer your questions A little bumpy. I'm making my way down Market Street in a wheelchair. So, uh, uh, and I guess uh, we're live here on the on OccupySF.org, and we're making our way down Pal. We're a Pal and Market. If you want to come and join us, uh, you can meet us at Van Essen Market, and we'll be there for a little while, um, probably for about a half an hour from now, maybe more. And then after that, we're on to the new location of uh, the San Francisco Commune. Uh, it's a nice warm day out today. Everybody's spirits seem to be up. Uh, the march here is, uh, it's about three to four hundred people. And we're marching down Market. We're here with the 99%. <coughs> and it looks like the police are taking a break too. And right now we just took a, took a, took a break for just a second. Uh, we're on the move again. <laughs> I wish they do some of the chants they do in New York. Our chants are kind of weak. <laughs> Like, hey, Ante, Ante Capitalista. Hey, Ante, Ante Capitalista. That's a good one. You gotta get going, you get going real fast on that one. And then there's, um, uh, oh shit. See, now I forgot them all. Anyway, there's lots of folks out here today. We're all here celebrating May Day, commemorating uh, the workers' holiday. Uh, first declared to commemorate the Haymarket Martyrs that were murdered by the Chicago Police Department in 1886. So this is a holiday that celebrates them. Uh, contrary to what you trolls think, uh, May Day was not originally a communist holiday. It was an anarchist holiday. And it commemorated the four people that were executed by the state. Uh, as a result of the Haymarket Massacre in Chicago in 1886. So that's what May Day is all about. And May Day, we're here with the 99% marching up Market Street. And we'll help you join us in our future activities. Make sure you check out our website, OccupySF.org.
Fred, I don't anybody to comment on this. I'm hoping that my video looks good and my audio is all right. Although I'm getting plenty of bandwidth here, so we should be okay. I got my wonderful friend Derek who's pushing me down Market Street. Thanks a lot, Derek. Without him, this would not be possible. I like how you can tell he's hardcore by who's carrying the riot helmets. Right, right. <laughs> well, it might have been, you know, who knows. Well, the ones that are like, though, seems like they got more stripes on their arms. So, uh, this is my producer. Uh, if you can log on to the social stream of my Ustream page and leave a comment on the social stream to let me know how I look and sound, I would very much appreciate it. Damn it. That's one thing I'm going to yell at him about. I love my producer, but... They're all out. Yeah. Oh, they're all out. I guess the police are going to leave us until we get to... I think so many of them, like, dropped out. Hey, look at that escort here, huh? Quite an escort. This is the police department. All right, well, let's keep moving, I guess. We're trailing up the very end. We're in the wheelchair brigade here. We're glad you could be with us watching as history is being made. That's why they took the other side of the street. Um, I wonder why. <laughs> oh, because of this thing? I don't think. Hold up. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I was just trying to get fire in my chair. Sorry about that, folks. Because when I got somebody pushing me, it's better for me to be straight up. But I'm doing the crab walk, I have to lie back, right? <laughs> but I'll be out of this mother pretty soon. This is Ironside talking. <laughs> anyway, we have a good crowd, about three to 400 people. And we're on our way to Van Essen Market. I always hate to see people sleeping on the street, unless they're occupiers. And you know, that's the, tw that's the punishment for being an occupier. Right, you have to sleep on the street. <laughs> I know, I'm kind of glad when I see people sleeping on the street because it means the cops aren't bothering them. Yeah. It also is a sign of like, it's a little bit of safety there. Yeah, but still, it's just a, it's a reminder how fucked up the system is, you know. Yeah. And that people, you know, there's no real, real well, you know, some people that I've met actually like living in the street. Right, for those people, more power to you. And I, I kind of liked it a little bit, too, when I was living out on the street. But most people, it's generally because of drug addiction and alcoholism. And it's pretty sad. I see that officer. He's always he's always at all the protests. That's his job, I think. Besides writing down people's tickets. For those who like to send me text messages, my producer I would think it is, uh, please get on the social stream on my webpage, and if you want to leave me a message, do so there. Anyway. Try to move back up to the middle. Yeah, it's cool. We're doing all right. And there's Charlie. Charlie works at Martin DePores. In San Francisco. Reveal my identity in public. <laughs> anyway, he's a really, he's a really good guy. Damn it. Takes care of a lot of the poor in San Francisco. I don't believe a word right. this guy tells you. He's a good guy. No, no, just for right now. This is Derek. Hi, Charlie. 
He's been taking care of the poor now almost for many years in San Francisco. And one day we're going to give him a medal. Watch what he does, not what he says. Right. <laughs> I ain't that the truth. This is rough here. See, that's what I mean. More money, in, more money to fix the streets, less money for the police, right? Somehow, in the big equation, the streets always end up getting paid for last. And we have the one percent, which actually they benefit more from the roads than anybody else because they get more. All their commerce is conducted on these roads, and we, the public, have to pay for it. Because generally, most corporations don't want to pay their taxes, you know, or, or they're just trying to get away with, you know, we're, we're with paying none at all. So, when you're in a wheelchair, it's kind of rough making it up market like this. But we're doing good. Our police escort moved over to the other side. So, well, I'll try to keep the camera as still as possible. amongst photographers walking around with your eye in the lens and you trip that's gotta hurt one of our junior occupiers in the junior league now we're here at seventh and market we're getting ready to march or we are marching to market in van s to uh start going to the san francisco commune the new San Francisco Commune. Somebody just in. All right. I like that. Yeah, well, that's for you to join us. I'll be streaming for the next hour or two. Uh, and we'll most likely have a live stream up all day at our website, OccupySF.org. So, and also, if you'd like to chat, please log on to my Ustream page, Ustream.tv slash channel slash Occupy San Francisco. Log into the social stream and chat. Thank you. Man, this is the roughest road. I know, just try to keep the camera still. It should get a little better once we pass this light. Yeah, the only problem when you're in a wheelchair with these kind of protest is they stop all the buses, right? So the only route we're taking take a muni. Uh, when you go down to muni, it's quite an experience because the elevators are always at the ends of the stations. And then the other elevators at the other end of the station. So you end up, like if you're on the one side, you end up going one block to the other side of the station, and then another block back to get the other elevator to get down to the street uh, platform, right? So, you know, when you're handicapped, that's what happens to you. You end up having to do walk and go twice as many twice as much distance as people that are physically able to so remember that when you see somebody in a wheelchair anyway we're uh, getting close to eight
Let's take a look behind us and see what's going on. I can't really see, but we just wanted to give you a little bird's eye view of what's going on. Hello, everybody. You want to do a walk backwards? No, no, no. <laughs> no, we'll be all right. I can just, I can just hold the camera backwards whenever I want to look. Honestly, I've never went through all these streams that I do. I never even went at them. Once I'm, once they're streamed, like it goes into my server, and that's it. It's canned. We're at the Orpheum Theater now. This is Occupy San Francisco. I'm on the march. There's uh, lots and lots of actions that are going around the United States today, uh, from Maine to California, from Washington to Florida. In every major city, 115 cities around the United States, there are Occupy demonstrations going on. Uh, go to the website occupytogether.org if you want to know what's going on in your area. Or there's another site, uh, well, I'll have to look it up and tell you, I'm sorry, I can't remember right now. Uh, that's what I need my field support for, but they couldn't make it today. They make a pretty good time. Yeah. Yeah, the bike thing will be a little smoother, actually. That is if we can. Yeah, we can. Hey, it sounds like they're fixing the road up here. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. That was a lot of construction. Yeah. Yep. I think they think the cops are gonna like. I think the left side dropped off. I think they're getting out of bus here. Yeah. Cars. Well, I think they're gonna think they're gonna stop us at the on our way to the cabin so we can't get inside. But uh, they're gonna have a big surprise waiting for them. Hi, this is Clark uh, with San Francisco Occupy, and uh, we're here in, uh, on May Day, celebrating the Winter's Holiday, and it is. Uh, we hope you enjoy the holiday, and you took part in the general strike by ditching school, calling in sick to work, not paying your fair share on the mini or the subway or the bus. Uh, just staying at home and relaxing because you deserve it, you're the American worker. Part of the 99%. Speaking of American workers, we got a few here. Doing a little construction. So that's why the sidewalk and everything was all wet. Fucked up. Oh, gotta watch my language on these live streams. Sorry. I'll put a quarter in the jar. Live streams are live streams. Yeah. They're very Buddhist, isn't it? <laughs> because you're always in the Mahal, right? Right, Daddy? My yeah, buddy. He's a good boy. Good boy. Talking to the little hockey dog here. He's been marching with us since the beginning. He's a good dog. Nice orange color. Uh, I'd like to also say uh, we have General Assembly every Tuesday and Thursday from around 6 or 7 o'clock at 101 California. And Saturdays, uh, if we don't have an event, it's 12 o'clock, and that's also 101 California. Uh, oh, that's too bad. Say hi. Say hi to everybody on live stream. You're blocking it with your Fantastic. Oh. oh, shit. Sorry. This is James, the advocate here. Rose Aguilar got me a text message last night about the uh, vandalism on Valencia. I got out on it. Fake A signs everywhere. Now, watch your knuckle, Clark, on the uh, oh. camera. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, you know, I used to be a block march captain that. in Seattle. I used to study tags, graffiti, and uh, the A markings. 
99% of the A markings were A letters inside of circles, not the anarchist symbol. So we know pretty much these are a bunch of amateurs. Um, uh, there have been reports of people that were in their uh, masks in the back of police cars. And I've never seen anyone allowed to get in the back of the police car without that bandana coming off and being removed. So it looks like a setup, it looks like infiltration. And uh, we're just going to stay up on it and tighten up internal security down here at Occupy and all the movements. And uh, what can I say? The SF Homeless Group is supporting everybody. So uh, we're there for you guys. Love you. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. We're doing the market. We're at Touch right now. So, yes, the Beatles, the Beatles' work last night was to work a provocateurs. There you had it from James. I'm excited to see where uh, the new commune is going to be located at. It's windy. We're on the windiest part of the uh, market street Give me another look back. I thought it was going to get colder. Alright, so now we're on one half of market. We did have the whole street. So we do have police going on both sides. But it's pretty loose. We have a few people on uh, both sides of the street. There's Frank Q. He goes on more protests. He's a local celebrity. Frank Chu. So are we going to take the intersection or are we going to hang on the edges or I'm wondering what's going to be going on here? Well, yeah, we know it's a guarding Bank of America. We don't do anything for Bank of America. That's their uh, one percent master. So I think let's just stop here for a second. Oh, give me a break. Oh, thank you. That was a lot of work. You did a great job, man. Thanks. Thanks again to Derek for helping me out. Stick around. We'll get some lunch here in a minute. We're going to be here for a bit. There's Carl. He's with the San Francisco Labor Council. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, we're just taking a break for a second. Thanks. I know you. Right, Clark. We, we, we've seen each other, I forget where, maybe in Martin? Maybe one of the boys, yeah. Yeah, because I'm a pretty regular there for years and years. Yeah, that's probably where I saw yeah, you. Yeah, because I know your face. Cool. Always good to meet a friendly face. Yeah, this gives us a little perspective on what's going on here, too. Second here, folks. Oh, I know how that chair went. Oh, I remember. Oh, 
are one, we are the people. Two, we are united. This is the occupation, we are not leaving. One, we are the people. Two, we are united. Three, this is the occupation, or no. Occupation, we are not leaving. Right? It's a pretty good jam. New York? Yeah. That's the second year, folks. So we're here at the that intersection, uh, Van Ness and Market, uh, Occupy San Francisco May Day. Uh, well, it looks like we're going to get ready to go to the new San Francisco Commune. And who knows what's going to happen here. A lot of mystery. Stay tuned. Stay on our stream. Check it out. I got the sound system. It's already where we're going. So we'll be stopping to visit. I'm mean, being there. Hey, please, people. What? I mean, hey. This is it. This is it. They don't have more than this. That's what I was told. They've got everybody that they're going to have fun with. And we got the Bike Brigade, San Francisco Bike Brigade. They started out early this morning and they've been riding around San Francisco. Thanks a lot. It is really windy out here. As usual, this being San Francisco in this time of the year. Yeah, there's the intersection of Van Essen Market. We're with Occupy San Francisco, and we're about ready to get ready to go to the new San Francisco Commune.
what I'd like to know is that we're here, we have Occupy, and I'd like to know where our union brothers and sisters are at today. Uh, I don't see any SEIU, and I don't see any UBS, I don't see any CWA, uh, and we're here for those strikes, but as far as them being militant or doing anything radical, I just don't see it, and I don't see it happening, quite frankly. I think that um, unless we're uh, not, unless we're careful, that we're going to see the unions use us politically, and any time that they feel that their strike is, uh, or anything that they can benefit from us, they'll use the threat of calling Occupy. Behind the banner so. of the safer space. <laughs> That's that. That's my feelings on the subject. Uh, although we can work with the unions, uh, we don't want to let them dictate our agenda, and definitely don't want that to happen. And in the future, uh, when they're calling for a strike, they better live up to their word and do what they say they're going to do, rather than vacillate and then make three or four different decisions. Uh, that's not militancy. That's not activism in my world. So. I'm very unhappy with the unions, although we did support them and we do support them. We feel at the same time that they kind of left us out to dry, and uh, we're very, uh, very unhappy with that situation. Take it for what it's worth. I haven't seen any black black folks here. Which I'm tend to say that the black black, the thing last night was the work of provocateurs. I uh, there's a lot of eyewitnesses that saw them leave with masks on in police cars. Uh, there's just a lot of things about them that was fishy and it didn't quite smell right. So uh, I'm just happy that the uh, the mainstream media didn't sink us and didn't try to blame all the vandalism on Occupy. And I knew something was up. As soon as I saw the news and I saw the tweets, I'm like, no way. Right? Because I saw some of those dudes. And they're wearing brand new freaking clothes. Mm -hmm. Right? It was just like... Well, something didn't smell right yeah. with the whole thing. Whenever, whenever Black Block goes out, like goes out for property destruction, they go after, you know, B of A or Starbucks or something like that. They don't go after, like, independent business. It doesn't make sense. Right. Right. I mean, I can see him hitting, uh, hitting the police station. I can see him hitting Tartines and some of the, some of the uh, uh, overpriced restaurants. But trashing people's cars just because you can do it, that just doesn't make sense. Yeah, uh, hitting the police station, yeah, that makes sense. But the other shit, that's just. I mean, everybody I've talked to today has been saying about how it's incredibly counterproductive. And it, yeah, why would we want to do that? Yeah. And as far as I know. I'd say about 99% of the Occupy crowd here are nonviolent to begin with. Yeah. And they're not going to go around. I mean, basically... Even the ones who are talking about, like, keeping property destruction up for, open for debate are probably more in that place of intellectually I agree with this. That doesn't mean I'm going to go down the street, pick up a brick, and throw it through a window. Right. Unless there's something that can be accomplished by that, right? Yeah. Which is very little. Exactly. So basically, it's a big waste of time. Yep. You know. I mean, even if you go in and you trash the Bank of America, believe me, they are heavily insured. Oh, yeah. And uh, generally, the people that are going to be paying for it are the people that make their deposits at the bank. Yep. Because uh, they got to pay for it somehow. They got to pay their insurance premium. And uh, so that's basically what they do. They raise fees. So the next time. Uh, to yeah, basically, and I know how it works. Like, let's just say that it's about like five hundred dollars worth of damage. Well, anybody, any any idiot in the right mind that makes an insurance claim is always going to claim at least two to three times what the actual damage was, right? And then when the company gets around to reporting it on their profit and loss statement, then they can uh, inflate it a little bit more. Uh, 
but then a little bit more and then when you go on the, on the federal tax. And by the time you get done, the actual or the uh, you know the damage the damages are like three or four or five, sometimes even ten times as much as what it would cost to fix the original damage. So it's just a big scam, and uh, just like every other capitalist scam. That's why we're out here. We're anti-capitalists, most of us. And uh, we're out here to protest the economic inequality here in the United States. Yeah. I doubt if they're going to do anything right now, though. I want to cut the mic for just a second. Already? Already, yeah. Oh. We got a little pinata battle here. Okay, he's gonna win. Nice! Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. All right, chop, right? to another site. Well, no, they got it already. They're already inside and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't do it if I was inside a place. I wouldn't even go. Yeah, I've got 40 years of experience out in the field. I've been organizing protests and going to protests since I was 11 years old. So I'm 51 now. So... Things change, but not that much. There's the kids! Go give it to a policeman. Tools they won't take it. <laughs> well, now we have live streaming. Yeah. And we have tweeting. Yeah. It's huge, yeah. Okay, that puts us on the... I think that puts us on the same level as that when it comes to communication. No, no, we were... Actually, we have better communication. Yeah. Because they don't have websites than we do. Yeah, they just don't utilize them. But, and websites are becoming passe anyway, so. They work to a point. And you're talking to a web developer. <laughs> so My bread and butter, right? I work for a web tech company, so. I'm going to try to get a test to the top. Alright, try it. He's not gonna take it, but he's being friendly to please. It's fruity, it's like a jelly bean. Okay. This is horrible. So we're on the move. I was wrong about the site. I think he's actually gonna like grab the radio. I was coming up. Like, so I was talking to Rojo. I got a Hershey's kiss in my hand, dude. No, oh, no, no, no. Why would I do that? Ready? Ready. Oh, yeah. Run the move again. Uh, run him over, run him over, run him over. Uh, he's a big one. Huh? Come on, dude.
tell he's kind of the boss, huh? Yeah, what's his name? I didn't see the badge. Uh, no. You know the boss for his name? That's it. That's a big ass cop. Runs on the radios, is down second to third. Thanks, producer's up now. Somebody said that there was somebody in the truck, no insignia and stuff like that. They were running into immigration. We're on the march. We're walking. We're uh, on the march down Van Ness, headed up towards. Let's see, Hay Street, I believe, or or Grove, or Fowl Street. Yeah, some of the community in coordination with them. I do me a favor. Hold this camera just for a second. <laughs> Marking up, marching up Van Ness right now. There we go, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're following the march. Lots of people still. I guess we have a good 250, 300 people, accompanied by about 100 cops on both sides. I think they're really going to. I think they're really going to stop us from doing what we want to do. I think it's because they're just so concerned about our well-being. They want to be sure there's not a police officer for a protest. Right. In case somebody needs a band you know? I'm sure. <laughs> Some protesters are taking the other side of market. I guess we're moving over. Over to the other side of market. There's that chair I like so much. Auntie Capitalista. Ah, Auntie. 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 Auntie Capitalista. Ooh, ooh, I gotta tell you, folks. The wind is blowing out here. It is chilly. It looks all nice and sunny, but it's cold. <laughs> oh, we got our police bus here. Right. See, I told you they'd hop on a bus. Oh, yeah, of course. Did they disappear for a minute? We're on our way to the San Francisco Commune, the all-new and improved SF Commune. Yeah. yeah, the march is spreading out a little bit now. Yeah, you notice how it always gets windy, windier on this side of Van Ness, right? Yep. When you go to the other side, the wind seems to die down. Maybe it's because of all the tall buildings. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's no trees anymore. You gotta rely on tall buildings as wind breaks now. Oh, uh, yeah. We're on our way to the San Francisco Commune. We're 
Mad Doggy's ready to go. <laughs> I hope we don't have to go up that hill. <laughs> Occupy San Francisco is on the move. To our new commune, a new SF commune. And I have no idea where it's at. But I'm going to trust the tactical committee. They generally know how to make the best decision or good decisions. Generally. At least not bad. Right. <coughs> Everybody seems to be kind of quiet. There's no chanting going on. In anticipation of checking out our new home. Yes, I've come here. Where is this, by the way? You know, I have no idea. <laughs> you know about it much about it as I do. And I, you know, and I run the website, so. And I have no idea. I'm the last person you want to tell. I'm the information uh, facilitator, right? So, no, but I know how to keep secrets. But if you're a public face, you watch more often. Yeah, well, cops gave up watching me back in '92. Uh, I had to get a cease and desist order because they were uh, they were trying to put me in jail for uh, selling marijuana. So they were never able to get any evidence or find anybody to testify against me, or and they really tried. So yeah, we got this lady. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe we can get by her real quick here. There we go. Thanks. I don't I don't want to bump into her. Yeah. I was going to say it smelled like horsey manure there. All right. Oh, there's some chants coming out. We got sold out. I'm just wondering if we got the numbers to take and hold this place too. That's by our concern. <laughs> we're headed up at S. Uh, we're just passing McAllister and we're headed towards Golden Gate. This is Occupy San Francisco on the move. Streaming to OccupySanFrancisco.org. If you like to chat, uh, go to my personal page, ustream.tv slash channel slash Occupy San Francisco. Log into the social stream and chat. If you have any questions, anything you want to know about what we're doing, let me know. And uh, Derek here is putting out a little more effort now. Get me up the hill here. I can tell. When you're in a wheelchair, you can feel every bump, nub, crack, everything in the sidewalk, everything. So, we're making our way up Van S. There's about 250, maybe 300 people here. And I didn't see any black block today, so it doesn't look like uh, there's going to be any window smashing, thank goodness. I'm not down with that myself, personally. And what I'm really not down with is the uh, the violence that's been threatened towards live streamers at our events. Hey, if you want to do an illegal acts, hold up, sorry, I just said that. If you want to do an illegal acts, you know, do them on your own time. 
not at our demonstrations. You know, I'm all I'm all against the banks and corporations and all this shit just as much as you are. But smashing windows and smashing people's cars is not the way to get the general public on your side. So whoever uh, whoever was responsible for what happened in the mission last night, I'd like to wish you were here because I put my foot up your ass. And I really mean that. You did a disservice to the movement. You're a discredit to whoever the hell you are. You're a coward. And we don't want you to be a part of our demonstrations anymore. I, I he'll just be the first one in a really long line about being part Yeah, well, this is the second time it's happened. They smashed the windows on a car dealership that was just up the street. Yeah, well, police station's one thing, but uh, people's like cars, you know, you know, and it wasn't like they were busting up Lamborghinis and Mercedeses, you know, these were like family cars, you know, and something that was old, you know, and you know whoever had it really, really depended on it to get to work, you know, or whatever, and it was just thoughtless behavior. Uh, hey, I want to smash the state just as much as everybody else, but breaking somebody's car windows is not the way to accomplish that. Anyway, we're making our way up the hill here. We're on Turk. We just made a left on Turk from Van S. Still got a nice crowd. Everybody seems to be in good spirits. Occupy. Occupy San Francisco. On the move. Occupy has a lot of activities. Simply log on to our website and click on the calendar tab. And on the calendar tab, there's a pretty full listing of uh, events, working group meetings, uh, all the events that happen with Occupy, which there are very, very many. So log on to the calendar page and check out what's happening with Occupy here in San Francisco. We're approaching Franklin Street. And we're going by, this, well, pretty soon we'll be going by the site of the first Occupy. Uh, it's the first San Francisco commune, that is. getting the horse there, huh? We're going by the employment office. Well, that's a place that's not been very busy lately, I would imagine. Unless you're going there to collect your unemployment benefits. I don't even think you have to go and apply anymore. I think it's all done online. Right. Yeah, we're nearing the site of the first San Francisco commune. There. From the ashes, we have risen. And they got a new fence up around the place. Uh, let's take a break here. And this is the site of our old commune.
Well, that's what an anarchy sign is supposed to look like. Not those ace crawls he did last night. Occupy. And the rest of the crowd showing up here. Very colorfully uh, tired crowd. Lots of flags and lots of signs. Please, they're just kind of just standing by your watching. So we don't know what they're up to. Please oh, stand up here for a second. In a second. Is it me or does this place seem familiar? Uh, it's familiar. <laughs> So what do you think, Derek? I'm on strike today, so I was supporting the unions, and then you asked for a ride, so I'm pushing you. I'm not going in today. Yes. That's pretty cool. Because the things wonder. they built will actually help protect them inside. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> so we actually have people inside. I wonder why I didn't get an invite. My feelings are hurt. I think everybody's invited. <laughs> if you don't have a gun. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't bring a gun to a demonstration. The only time I bring a gun to a demonstration was if we were involved in a civil war. That police are taking off for the moment. Although they'll always be nearby. We know that. We'll never be defeated. United. So we're stopped out in front of the the old slash new. San Francisco Commune. <laughs> Have a nice peaceful crowd out here today, in contrast to last night with the provocateurs. So we know that there isn't any windows that are going to get smashed at this demonstration, at least for now. And we're, which is really stupid and foolish thing to do. I'll say that again. Smashing windows is a really stupid and foolish thing to do. It accomplishes nothing other than releasing your childish rage. And hey, look, I'm as angry as the next guy. I wouldn't be out here if I wasn't. But violence is not the way to solve the problem. Anyway, that's my ranting. We're right here at the, the new slash old something borrowed, something blue, San Francisco Commune, which is already occupied. How are you doing? Hi, I'm videoing you. You want to talk into my Hi. camera and say your, your thing? Hi, my name's Clark, and uh, I'm the web developer for uh, OccupiedSanFrancisco.org. I'm also one of the streamers, and uh, 
I'm here today. We're here at the San Francisco Commune, and we're here. We retook it already. There's people inside. Uh, everybody around here is very happy, it seems like. Um, the police have seemed to have left us alone. Yeah, we had a very peaceful escort from Van Ness right. and Marcus. So, so it seems like uh, the, it's going to stay a peaceful day, but one never knows. And when the sun starts, starts headed into the west, that's when the true test of when what's going to happen is going to be really happening. Why? Well, because by then most of the people here will have either left or they'll be inside the building. And that's when I think that in all likelihood the police like to work under cover of darkness. And generally they'll wait until 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning to uh, try and go in and make their arrest or clear out the building. And that's when we need you down here. It's usually around 3 or 4 in the morning when most of the rest of us are too tired. So uh, that's pretty much that in a nutshell from what I know. Your name again? My name is Clark Sullivan. And Clark, I heard from someone else here, they've had this occupied for a week. Yeah. You know that. Too. Yeah, it's been continuously occupied, yeah. Why aren't they out there yet? Uh, because uh, Catholic Church hasn't called in a complaint. Right, they have to call in a complaint before the police will do anything. So do you right. have any speculation about why the Catholic Church hasn't called in a complaint? Any speculation? I don't know. Church, the Catholic Church, if you're watching this live stream, uh, why haven't you called in a police complaint to the police department yet? That's all I can tell you. I think that uh, anything they do at this point is going to look bad public, as far as public relations goes. So if they do decide to make a move, they're going to wait until the May Day thing has died down. right? Because right now there's too many people that are here in support. Like I said, they always wait until 4 o'clock in the morning. So that's... That's my take that on it. That would be the Catholic Church waiting until four to come in and ask the police to, to rouse them out. It takes the owner to do that. Right. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Carol and your Harvey, name is? Carol I'm sorry? Harvey. Carol Harvey. Carol Harvey. My wife and two neighbors in town. Okay, you're one of my Facebook friends. <laughs> you're one of my Facebook friends. I meet another Facebook friend again in real life. There you go. See, we do exist. It's not a pigment of your imagination. Hello. How are ya? I'll put this on your page. Okay. okay? Great. Okay. I never, you know, this happens a lot. I don't recognize people, and they don't recognize me. Either. Well, that's because you don't have to put your picture up on the avatar. I always do. Yeah, I, I change. People say you don't look a bit like your picture. Ah. It's true. Well, I have plenty of pictures up there. So. Well, I'll, I'll put this. Okay. <laughs> All right, Carol. Nice talking to you. Oh, boy. So we got the police, they're all waiting in the lobby of the building here, looks like. They're not going to get any special favors like they did the last time when they were down at the Hyatt. And they could sit, they had a whole waiting room down at the Hyatt the last time, especially reserved for them, right? And then they went over to Taco Bell and got their Taco Bell munchies off. They need their taco copter. <laughs> There's a reason for legalizing drones. Oh, yeah, definitely. Drones could get tacos. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of it, though, is they already know where the police are coming in. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm down here. I don't know how long I'm going to stay here today. Although, I think I'm going to get back out in the sun again, where it's a little warmer. Oh. Crowd's thinned out a lot. I think it's because a lot of people went inside. 
So there's definitely going to be an occupation of this building again tonight. At least it looks like it. Yours truly is not going to go in, but I'll stay down here as long as my batteries hold out. And then I'll go home and recharge my batteries and come back if that's what it takes. Hey, we got a member of the Brass Liberation Orchestra here. Yeah, I mean, it's always great. So we had the place opened up, and the police didn't try and stop us. Let me move a little closer to the entrance here. Okay, I'll be around. Hey, Andre. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, man? Not too bad, not too bad. Time to see. Yeah, just out here live streaming. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I go hang out in the park for a little bit. I don't want to go in. Are you going in? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Well, you can go in and go out. I mean, I guess I could. You don't have to stay in there. But I don't think you'd get arrested for that. <laughs> you gonna go in? Maybe. Yeah. You go in. I'll go in. All right. <laughs> the problem with me is, is that a lot of the place, yeah, it's not wheelchair accessible. I'm pretty sure. In there? Were you in there last time? Yeah, well, they have stairs in there. I know that. I didn't go in there last time. I've actually been in this place when it used to be a mental health clinic. I had to bring somebody here a couple of times. All right. All right. Yeah. So how long has it been empty, you think? Here? Oh, five, ten years. But how long is it going to be occupied? Oh, maybe five, ten minutes. No, we were going <laughs> to... No, I was just kidding. We'll no, be I mean, here. It's like, they, they didn't do it on Sunday, and then they arrested everyone on Monday. I'm like, how charitable are the Catholic charities? I got like Not five even months. a week? Yeah, well, evidently, there's been people that have been in here for quite a while. Oh, really? It, yes. And I think some people never really left. Wow. We got people at the top of the building. And a lot of people are going inside. See, another thing is if I went inside, I'd lose my signal. So, my uh, cell signal. Yeah. So I'll be, I'll have to remain content because I think that I'm the only stream that's, that's, that's broadcasting right now. I, Clark. That's okay. I'm not shy about the live stream. People know who I am. Right, I get my phone number out. It's a nice thing about living in the digital world is that you can block anybody you don't want to talk to. Right, trolls. Get rid of them, people that want to harass you. I wouldn't know. Right? You can block all them. Except for, I have a phone, so I guess I am a little. I don't know. I'm probably going to get rid of my phone anyway. Uh, well, I, in some ways it's a curse. I just, I'm buying a really low budget now. Now that I'm paying fucking five hundred bucks a month, I have like no money left over. Yeah, I hear you. So it's like, phone is kind of a dumb luxury to me. I don't really need it. Like, I kind of have to. I don't really have much of a choice because uh, I have to. Well, I, de I have to be able to develop websites for for mobile too, right? And uh, so I have to see how it works on the phone. I write apps. So I have to see how the apps work. So, so and actually, my lawyer bought me this telephone, this phone, smartphone, uh, for Christmas as a gift. So. Oh, cool. Can't complain about that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, if you ever need legal services out there, uh, one of my sponsors, his name is Patrick Goggin, G-O-G-G-I-N, and you can find him in the book or on the web at patrickgoggin.com, and uh, he'll take care of you. Have personal injury, a marijuana case, uh, disputes with your landlord, things like that. Uh, Patrick's your man. Uh, he's represented me. A few times in the past, and I've always been more than satisfied with the results. So, uh, if you have a legal problem, uh, go see Patrick Goggin, G O G G I N, and uh, he'll be more than happy to help you. Help you. And the first hour is always free. Yeah, he's in San Francisco. Free consultation. Right. Free consultation. Uh, I think they're going to clear us out of the street here. Uh, I think I'm going to move to this side of the street. Oh, we got lots of vans now. Oh, 
And now the Popo are moving up in their vans. And they're going to try to make some arrests before this is all over. Pigs go home as a champ. Sheriff's Department. Bye bye, Popo. Bye bye, Popo. Pigs go home! Got at least a half a dozen to a dozen people out there, right? Definitely. How are you doing today? I thought it would be a lovely afternoon to practice my scales. There you go. <laughs> so we must have at least 50 people inside of the building right now. Okay, so you can go this way. That, that was the way they did it the last time. Yeah. That should be nice if we had it together. It was crazy. Yeah, something. As a citizen, as a citizen journalist, I am limited in what I can do in the amount of my activism. Normally, I would say, you really want to screw them up, get a big bag of jacks from the game that you played as a child, and just toss them out in the street, and that'll slow them down for a while. Way back in the day, they first used those things for tripping up horses on battlefields, so I believe in it. I don't flatten the tire fast enough. Oh, yeah. But don't say that I told you that. No, it was from the guy wearing the black mask. Right. <laughs> See? Hi. I'm Guy in the Black Mask. <laughs> he's, he's part of the black block, if you want to know. Yep. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were cops. The, the cops attacked the ones you see. Yeah, last night it was cops. They never took it. They're sitting in the back of the park with their masks on. That's Tell me that's not a cost. I'll, I'll be back. Okay. Well, I don't think you're going to get any dispute on that point. Anyway, yeah. No, not for me either. I kind of figured as much when I first heard about it, right? Too convenient. Well, then I heard from some other folks about how there was talk about reoccupying at the Morris Park to get more community support. For the last couple of months, then lo and behold, somebody goes and trashes everything around the Morris Park in the mission. Then it says it's occupied. Right. But fortunately, we weren't vilified in the MSM, so. And I was actually surprised. And I only got a chance to see uh, KTVU last night, and uh, and they were actually uh, pretty fair about their reporting, as fair as they usually ever get. Probably back up. Uh. We got some more police. Let's uh, push me back to the corner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up to the corner here so I can not be kettled and I can keep uh, streaming your uh, streaming for you. Sorry. All right. All right. We lift my feet up. Here we go. All right. Here we go. We got plenty of news media here, as you can see. Yeah. So actually, they're violating the law of trespassing, like everybody else. How you doing? 